Welcome back everyone. McMaine's Children's Developmental Center is gearing up for its no such thing as impossible bike ride. It's happening this weekend, a pretty spectacular event. We have Executive Director Ann Hendricks joining us as well as Chairman Sebastian Alvarez. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Thank Good you morning. so much for coming out. So you guys have been on our show a couple of times. Just to refresh our viewers, tell us about uh, McMaine's Center and if they haven't heard about it. Sure. We are a nonprofit pediatric rehabilitation center. So we provide uh, physical, occupational, educational, speech and language services, evaluations and therapy to children with developmental delays or developmental disabilities. So we see children with very mild delays all the way up to kids that may have more involvement such as autism, cerebral palsy, Down syndrome, but also learning disabilities and ADHD. And y'all have a big uh, bike ride this weekend. There's no such thing as impossible. Tell us about that bike ride, kind of the message behind the title of it as well. So, so yeah, no such thing as impossible bike ride. It was uh, started with by my father. We believe that you know, like everything, no such thing is impossible, and we would like to provide. Um, uh, a fun bike ride and raise funds for these kids and provide them with bikes because we really think that uh, riding a bike is a rite of passage mm -hmm. and it helps these kids emotionally, physically with stamina and all aspects of their life. So that's important for us. And uh, it's open to the public if you want to sign up and come be a part of this. It's all for a great cause. The funds raised help you guys give out bikes like this uh, to your clients. So tell us a little bit about all that that goes into the to the ride this weekend. So each of these bikes can run anywhere from 2500 to about 6000 Pretty they are expensive. Specific, yes. Mm -hmm. And they're specifically built for the child that's going to receive that bike. Mm -hmm. So there's all sorts of adaptations. If the child needs a higher back seat, we can do that. It can be a lower back. Uh, you can have, this is the steering back here, but the child also can pedal and steer, but the parent can also brake if they need to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's geared for that child. Mm -hmm. So children who may not be able to do a two-wheel bike then can ride this bike, and there's different sizes that go up for them. And most of these families are worried about, hey, how do we get these kids out of the bed, or how do we get them mm -hmm. into the bathtub? So we want to take care of having fun riding a bike and them not to worry about the money aspect. And having a fun time. It's just a childhood memory Everybody. that everyone should Everybody. get to yep. enjoy. Absolutely. Absolutely. So run us through the details of this weekend, when and where, and a website in case people want to sign up and be a part of it. Website is mcmaincdc.org. Uh, the event itself is going to be at Point Marie. Point Marie subdivision near LaBerge Casino. Yeah, it's right past. We'll have a 75-mile uh, ride, 40-mile ride, 10-mile ride, and a kid's fun ride. So it, a, a bike ride for everybody. Bring a bike, bring a helmet, we'll have food, music, and a bunch of entertainment. It's yep. going to be a great time and all for a great cause. Yes. yes. All right, thank you both so much for joining us this morning. We'll have all this information for you on our website. That, of course, is BeOurProud.com. Well, so to come this morning.